to Trish. Thank you very much. I want all the race fans to pay close attention because if they haven't noticed this fellow in action, they're going to notice him in the future because he is one of Ohio's rising young stars. That's driver Brett Miller. And Brett, uh, I have to say that I've had a lot of people comment that you've come a long way as a driver in a short time. What do you attribute sharpening your skills to? Um, I think driving against good drivers helps you you know, develop into a better driver. And I've got to drive against some good drivers at Northfield Park, and it's helped me out. Of course, many people are familiar with the last name Miller, and automatically they say, well, there must be some connection with David Miller, perhaps. And there is, cousins. Yeah, we're cousins, and, uh, and his success has helped me out, I believe. Uh, people see his name, and he gets to meet a lot of people in New Jersey, and it's helped me out this year. Well, no one can uh, say that it doesn't hurt to have a little help along the way. We all need that. And with David, did you pattern yourself after him in any way? Um, a little bit. I've, he's, he's got that style of uh, giving horses real good trips and uh, real con being conservative, and that I kind of pattern off that a little bit. Well, you're driving now consistently at Northfield Park in Ohio, which is a half mile. What do you have to say about half mile racing? Um, it's more competitive, uh, I think. Uh, it's, a, it's a little tougher than a mile track. About the same as a 5.8, I think, when it comes to the way you drive, but I like a half mile the best. How have you found competing here at Delaware this week? Yeah, it's, been, it's been pretty tough because uh, I've had a lot of long shots, so it's been tough. All right, let's talk about those long shots. You're a young driver. You're eager. You're not going to say no to a drive. I'm sure of that. And you do get put down on some long shots. How do you approach driving one? Um, you you got to approach it, you know, and when you've got a long shot and it looks like it, maybe fourth or fifth best. You gotta, you gotta drive it conservative and, and try to get as much as you, you can get out of it. When you're scoring down, do you pay attention to the odds board? Does that help you in any way? Yeah, you, you, you check out the, the favorites and if uh, you see that there's two heavy favorites in there, you try to position yourself maybe behind those two horses. Driving is not only a head thing, it's a hand thing. Do you think that there's just natural ability that some drivers are born with? Oh, definitely, yeah. All right, let's talk about your abilities and your opportunity to show your abilities here in the next couple of races. You're going to be in the second race on today's early program behind one of those long shots. At least that's what the morning line says. Mega Magic, is there anything you can tell us about this particular mare? Well, it, it, the horse show is racing on a few uh, fair tracks and stuff, so you can't go by the times on those. But, uh, you know, it looks like you just try to try to position yourself behind, a, behind one of the favorites and get a good trip like that. All right, Brett, perhaps you have the... Uh, the advantage in the third race, fun time, buddy boy, the rail, and 9 to 5 in the morning line. I'm sure you're looking forward to this one. Right, yeah, he's got the rail, and he's got gate speed, and I'll be trying to put him on the front. What about the fact over at Scioto Downs, though, he did finish a well-beaten eighth last time out, fast mile, but nonetheless, did you uh, happen to have an opportunity to speak to Mike Wilder about him as he had the assignment last time out? No, I didn't get a chance to talk to Mike, but uh, it looked like he was in it with pretty tough company. Sometimes it's not only who you're in against, but other little things that happen out on the racetrack that can make a difference in a race. Do you have to make quick decisions that um, sometimes it's more instinct? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, a lot of it's instinct. Uh, but, you know, there are times you got to make a quick decision on uh, basically really leaving the starting gate. you got to make a decision there. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of it. Everything goes from that start. All right, we're going to jump ahead. Another long shot, whispering low. This one in the fourth race. You're going to be busy one right after another. Is that a good thing? Yeah, I'd much rather be busy. <laughs> know anything about this one? No, I don't, I don't know too much about this horse. All right, so you're going in cold there. Uh, also a long shot from the rail in the fifth. Hop along, Cassie. I'll pick your brain if you know anything about this one. I don't, I don't know much about it, but having the rail here at Delaware helps a ton. So. All right, they're going to bring them postward here for today's first race. We're kicking off a great card. Are you going to have time to sit back and enjoy the jug? Oh, definitely. All right, who do you like in the jug? Uh, Gallo Blue Chip. <laughs> I think that is the favorite. Everybody does keep saying that name. Good luck today, Brett. Thank you.